Uh, they've been great. You know, we've been going hard. Um, you know, it's, it's nice because, uh, you know, Coach Billups has obviously been there before as a player, so he understands, you know, uh, you know how to how to get the most out of us, and uh, he's definitely is. You know, uh, defense was a major focus, and that's really what we've been hitting on. You talked yesterday about being really detail oriented and, and taking the time to pinpoint certain players and what they did wrong. Have you noticed a lot of that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's you know he, we talked about it a lot of media day accountability, and there is you know he's, he brought out film this morning and uh, showed us you know each individual mistake. And, uh, you know, it wasn't like a finger pointing session, like you messed up. No, it was just like, hey, we can learn from this. And, uh, you know, we did. Hopefully guys take that and, and listen for, listen to it and learn from it. I, I did. You said yesterday that some people believe you can't put an address on people like he says, we just call people specifically. But he believes you can with a modern player mm -hmm. as long as you do it with respect. Do you agree with that? No, I agree with that completely. Um, again, we, I think with respect is a major is a major deal. You know, right. I think, uh, you know, you get a lot of you get a lot of coaches that, that try to come in and you know, do it without respect. And that's, you know, we are grown men with families. You know, so, um, you know, with respect is major and he's got that, you know, he's got that down to a T. So, um, you know, I think he's going to be incredible for us and our, our relationship, you know, him with a team is, is just going to continue to grow. Did you know much about him before? Um, yeah, I couldn't stand him. As a, as, as a Cavs fan growing up, I could not stand him. Him and that Detroit team, man, I was sick of him. <laughs> but uh, no, they. Uh, um, I did, I hadn't. Uh, yeah, I knew he was uh, close with the uh, coach that I played with before, Tyron Lue, and uh, that was really about it. So um, you know, I was flying blind. I'm sure he knew more about me than I knew about him. Did you tell him you couldn't stand him? No, he doesn't know that. I probably that's not a great first impression. <laughs> like, hey, coach, I hate you. In a good way, though. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. No, it was a great thing. It was a great thing. If he, you know, if he was a bad player, I wouldn't have hated him. Right, so. Right, right. Um, yeah, as a Cleveland fan, he made it tough on us. He'll know tomorrow. Yeah, that's <laughs> that very true. Very true. Do you get a sense of how, like, positionally, where you're being used this far? Like, is it more power forward, is it center? Like, does it matter? I'm curious, like, how, how the coaches that maybe visit you coming off the bench. And uh, so right now, it's it's a whole lot of, uh, I'm pretty versatile, you know? So, like, um, I played mainly four. But today I was out there guarding the threes, and the, you know one of our bigs came out, so I played the five. You know, it's um, I play where I'm put. You know, in uh, three, four, five, I'm, you know I'd imagine I'll play a little bit of each, uh, especially defensively. So, um, but I, I would have to imagine most of my minutes are going to be at the at the four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Non basketball question, but did you reach out to your buddy Kevin Love to ask him about Portland at all? I don't need help from Kevin Love on anything. <laughs> no, no, I spent entirely too much time with him in Cleveland. Um, no, no, I did. Um, when we were looking for houses, I FaceTimed him and uh, him and Channing Fry actually, I played with in Cleveland. So I was FaceTiming them both, asking them about areas and, um, and houses and what streets and where to eat and all that type of stuff. So they've been, uh, they've been super helpful. And do you like it so far? I love it. Yeah, I love it. We moved in Monday, so it's been uh, it's been hectic. I go from practice to carrying boxes in, so um, I've been working. But uh, no, it's great. Yeah, you know, we're in we're in a we're in a great spot, and you know, I'm just excited to get moving forward. Awesome. Damien always tries to do a good job of making new players feel wanted and welcomed in the home, so to speak. Have you had moments with him like that yet? He's embraced you and. Welcome to the family, so to speak. Uh, yeah, no, he's been great. He's been great. You know, in the locker room, he's, uh, you know, super inclusive of, like, conversations and whatnot. You know, he's not just talking to CJ, you know, strictly or talking to, you know what I mean? He's, no clicks. Yeah, there's no, it's not clicky at all. Like, I, you know, we'll have conversations across the locker room, you know. So it's, um, you know, it's been great in terms of our, you know, our relationship thus far. You know, Dame is, um, you know, somebody you just can't help but have tremendous respect for, the way he carries, him on, carries himself on and off the court. So, um, you know, he doesn't. You know, he don't have. To, he already has. You know, invited me in, but at the same time, like he, it's not something you have to do. I came. I wanted to come out here to play with that guy. So, um, you know, it's a, uh, it's, it's it's a great relationship thus far. Being on another team, how aware were you of Dean's reputation as being a good leader and the off the court stuff? Obviously, you know how good he is on the court. But right. Is that something that's kind of just common knowledge around the league? It's known. Yeah, it's known. Um, you know, you look around. Being in Cleveland, you know we. I remember having several conversations of like different types of cultures that, um, you know, if I was going to stay there, I wanted to turn this thing into, you know, back in Cleveland. It was like, well, you know, Miami's got a great culture. Uh, you know, I really like the way Portland, you know, they just seem to be having nothing ever gets out. There's no drama there. You know, it seems like a, 
you know, a stable, stable situation for coach, GM, all that type of stuff. And, and um, you know, you look at the heart of that and it's always your number one guy. That's, that's the culture, that's the culture guy. And so everyone knows that it's him. And, um, you know, again, the way he off the court, especially the way he carries himself, like, you know who it is. Did you, was last night's practice was similar to the morning practice? Was it, was it like a Kyle Stank practice? With, sometimes I know it kind of different, different things. Yeah, uh, last night's practice was uh, more of a mental practice. Okay. You know, more uh, you know, learning plays, going up, for refreshing plays, refreshing defensive sets. Um, you know, a little bit lighter on the legs, but heavier on the mind. So less contact. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no contact. No contact. Yeah. In the past, um, each player has kind of had their own specific uh, assistant coach. Is that the case this season? Do you have um, like a, a person, like an assistant that's yours? I don't know yet. Okay. Um, I don't know yet. I kind of been. I. I talk to a lot of different people so okay. I, I don't uh i don't know okay. i'm sure i'm sure it'll develop but at the same time I just, when I'll, I'll let you know when, <laughs> when i know you'll know yeah when i know you'll know <laughs> not to get too game centric but going from playing against him to playing with him what's that like now being a teammate of his versus trying to play against him um you know it's it's you know to put it simply it's going from a really hard job to a really easy job in terms of trying to figure out how to stop him to now how do I figure out how to get him a shot you know how do I figure out how to get him you know get his game going which not like he needs any help with that but you know how do we make his job easier um, and so it's uh it was definitely things that um, you know I've enjoyed you know coming up with some creative ways to like you know whether it's triple handoff action whether it's uh, elbow action whether it's pin downs type of stuff like that just to you know ease his uh, ease his load a little bit um, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think that's something that, uh, you know, the more, the more and more comfortable we get, you know, being on the same team and, and uh, with our, with each other's games, I think uh, that's going to be really good, really good for us going forward. Big FC Sheriff fan? I'm sorry? You big FC Sheriff fan? Now I am. Yeah. Now <laughs> I am. Yeah, they took, uh, Madrid took Courtois and Hazard from us. Anybody beats them, I'm happy. There you go.